<laughs> I honestly didn't think it would be this cool. All right, welcome back to another episode of My Point Three Garage. Uh, this is going to be part two of the paint booth. Uh, build part one was several months ago. We purchased a wedding tent on Amazon and uh, it's a it's a 10 by 20 tent and Which will be perfect for the Bronco uh, We knew that we were going to then rig the lights that we got on Amazon uh, Which are all LED strips inside of the tent uh, to create um, Kind of a, a really super bright paint booth uh, we did have a glitch with the lights. Um, the lights that I purchased on Amazon last year, uh, and you'll see that in one of my previous videos, I'll link it in the description, um, were uh, really good and I still like them, but they're out of 12 that I purchased, uh, I only have seven left. So there's a three year warranty. Um, the company is called Hypergiant. Do not buy Hypergiant. Don't buy them. I'm, I'm sorry that I even put that link up. I changed the link over in that video to a company called Barina. Uh, same light, same price. Uh, Barina actually has a customer service number that you can call. I cannot find anything on Hypergiant. I've tried to get a hold of them two, three times, two, three different manners. Even went through Amazon to try to get a hold of them, and uh, they won't return my uh, queries on on the uh, uh, on the light. So. I mean, it's not a huge deal. They were $49 for a pack of six. Um, so I've got $100 invested in the lights. About a year in, I started losing them. You can tell, and I'll go through this a little bit more in another video, but the individual LEDs in these are starting to go out. So I can see each one of these lights has individual LEDs. For instance, this one's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like 10 LEDs out of however many that are in there, 40 are going out. So it's about a quarter dimmer than it normally is. None of these lights uh, are working perfectly right now. So um, I'm just gonna reinvest in Barinas. I'll put that link in the description. Um, and then uh, keep my paperwork, which I didn't do on this last one because I honestly didn't think with LEDs they'd be going out that fast. Uh, and uh, and it'd be fine. But I put seven lights in this booth. So I've got one going across the front uh, and then I've got two in the center and then one on each of the four corners in the center here because I'm going to have the truck uh, more in the middle of the booth, kind of like, kind of like that. Um, it's a nice thing about having it on the dolly, by the way, the dolly, um, it was my very first video. If you want to get ideas on how to build a cheap dolly out of uh, two by six timber. Um, so yeah, I can just move this around. And get it centered in the booth um, right underneath the lights uh, the only thing I don't like is it's it's kind of tall so spray painting these panels is going to be perfect because it's going to be like like literally right in my uh, 90 degree view uh, very easy to see uh, but the hood when I have the hood on here I'm going to paint the hood on the car probably and I'll get to that in a minute um, when I paint the hood, I'm going to have to be standing on something uh, to get up above it. Uh, same with the frame right here. I'm going to have to be uh, probably going to build some boxes or something that I can stand on to get above above the frame. Rigging the tent already had a already had a, a, an episode on that. Uh, rigging the lights. The lights are easy. So the lights use a plug. Um, it's a three prong plug and they link so in this setup right here with seven lights just to make it easy i have i've plugged in basically three strands so i have the middle is one strand that side is one strand and this side is one strand um, to do that i just needed um, three extension three small extension cords uh, and then the rest of the kit that you get with the barina comes with enough cord to 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 do this whole thing so that that's not a problem and then I zip tied them, uh, see if I can find one that you can see, I zip tied them to the frame. So it's not permanent. Um, I actually stole the shop lighting from the inside of the shop. So if you look at the rest of the shop, it's kind of dark in here. Um, my original lighting was basically one bulb there and one bulb there in a three car garage, uh, which is the reason why I bought these other lights. 
The setup in here, I have a light in this corner. Can you even see that light? I guess you can. So a light in that corner, a light there, a light straddled across the front because the, the Bronco is going to be towards the back. A light there, a light there, and then two lights in the center. I ordered another uh, two six packs of the Barinas. Um, and if I get them in before um, I finish the paint on this Bronco, which could be this week, I may add two more here and maybe even two right there, maybe two to the front. So there's another six right there that I might add. Uh, you'll notice that this one right here is not on. Uh, the one behind me is not on. I'm using it as an extension cord because those are the two that went, those are two of them that went out. I'm using them as kind of like an extension cord. So that's the reason why those aren't on. Um, now, to the rest of the booth. So when I uh, go to paint, uh, I'm going to drop the curtains and I'm going to tape the curtains up completely uh, so that uh, there's no gap in the curtain at all. So this will come up here and then I'll tape that shut and then tape the, the bottom skirt to the floor. So the bottom of the tent is a couple of inches from hitting the ground. Um, so I'm going to use a tarp, cut the tarp, put it around and actually tape those to the floor to create a, uh, a sealed, somewhat of a sealed environment. And then my intake fans, which I hadn't figured out the fans yet, intake fans are going to be on that side where the door is. So it's going to be drawing air in from the house, um, which I think will be cleaner than drawing it in from the garage through filters. And then I'm going to put exhaust fans on this side, probably create a tube system to get the fans out of ways. Um, I don't know if I'm worried about blowing up the garage. Um, I don't think I'm worried about blowing up the garage. Uh, but I'm going to get those fans out a little bit, put filters in front of it uh, as well. Uh, as to what fans that'll be in the next one, I'm, I'm still kind of working on fans today. There'll be a part three of the booth before I start spraying again. Uh, and hopefully that will be in the next few days uh, where I'm going to be working specifically on the ventilation um, and getting the sides taped up and getting that done. Uh, so that is part two of the paint booth. I can't think of anything else that I need to do. Uh, well, I'm going to wet the floor down and uh, so that way we don't get a lot of junk in there. I was actually thinking about laying plastic on the ground. Uh, that way I don't get any of that copper paint on the concrete. But on the other hand, in the spring next year, I'm going to do a really nice um, epoxy floor in this since I'll be done hopefully painting all the Broncos at that point and I can uh, continue the, the dream garage build um, and uh, so maybe getting paint on the floor isn't a big deal. I think I might leave it actually. I'll just let the floor down and go that way. So, so far the lights were $100 and I use those for the shop so I'm not going to count those. So the lights were free. Um, the tent was $60 um, and duct tape will probably be about $20 uh, for enough duct tape to close it. I'm going to buy a couple more box fans for the intake. So I'm going to have probably two pushing and two pulling. And the two pushing will be smaller than the two pulling. So it'll be uh, a negative pressure booth, uh, but not like so much that I think it'll suck any dirt from anywhere else. We're going to have the floor tape. So, so that's kind of where I'm, I'm headed with this. Uh, we're getting close. Uh, I want to get this done as soon as possible. Uh, and uh, it'd be done so I can finish this the build. So that was a quick one from All Point Three Garage. Uh, look for uh, three. Uh, look for part three in this booth series where I'm going to set up the ventilation. And then at that point, I'm going to be ready to spray. Uh, we're going to do, uh, and then, uh, and then there'll be another video in probably the next day talking about how I'm going to spray this. But I just thought I would keep it booth first, um, and then talk about how I'm going to spray it second, so I can do a booth, uh, never mind. We'll just call it the booth series. That's what we'll call it, okay? So that is a wrap for Mile Point Three Garage. If you had any input on kind of how I'm building this, let me know uh, because we're gonna be going quick on this thing. And that is a wrap for Mile Point Three Garage. Please subscribe, we'd love to have new subscribers and uh, also leave some comments. Uh, we're looking to get some ideas on uh, making this paint booth even better. Um, and so anything that you have that you think might be a benefit to us, let us know and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.